So let's take a look at some organic molecules and study how their intermolecular forces can affect their boiling points. I've chosen this selection of organic molecules because I think it represents a range of different functional groups that we see in both the first year and the second year of the A-level, and also we've got the full spectrum here of intermolecular forces. I'm going to kick off over here on the left-hand side with these alkane structures, and these have actually got the lowest boiling points from the selection currently on screen. These two molecules are structural isomers of each other. We've got methylpropane at the top, and just below it we've got butane. They are structural isomers, which means they have the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. And they both have London forces as their strongest type of intermolecular force. But as we can see, even though negative one is still quite a low boiling point, the boiling point of the butane is higher than that of the methylpropane. And the reason for that is because the methylpropane has actually got weaker London forces compared to the butane. This is because the methylpropane is branched and therefore has fewer points of contact or fewer surface area interactions between molecules of itself than the butane does. Therefore, less energy is required to break the London forces in the methylpropane. Moving over to the middle molecule here, and you'll see we have 2-chloropropane. Now it has London forces, just like the two alkanes we were looking at a moment ago, but that boiling point is much higher at 35 degrees C, and that's because it's also got permanent dipole-dipole as its strongest type of intermolecular force. Now the permanent dipole-dipole intermolecular force is stronger than the London forces between the alkanes, and therefore more energy is required to boil this sample of 2-chloropropane. Moving over to the right hand side, and you can see here we've had quite a big jump in the boiling point values. We've got an alcohol of propanol at the top that has a 97 degree C boiling point. And then we've got propanonamine just below it, which is an amine, and that has a 48 degree C boiling point. Now they've both got hydrogen bonding as their strongest type of intermolecular force, hence why they've got the largest boiling point values from the selection I've chosen. But you'll notice that the alcohol, the propanol, has actually got a higher boiling point than the amine, the propanonamine. Now the reason for this is because the oxygen in the alcohol structure has got more lone pairs than the nitrogen in the amine, and also the oxygen in the alcohol structure is more electronegative than the nitrogen in the amine. And this causes for it to have stronger hydrogen bonds between its molecules. Therefore, more energy is required to break them, and that explains the higher boiling point, despite the fact that both of these have hydrogen bonding as their strongest type of intermolecular force. So what are you going to watch next? Maybe you want to go over all of your different curly arrow mechanisms, or perhaps those module 4 reactions are on your mind. Maybe you want to study how moles and organic questions have come up side by side before, or perhaps spectroscopy is what you need to be doing next. Click the links on screen now to be taken to a range of my different organic video content. And until next time, happy revising.